before Joker. Have you seen Joker? I did. Yeah. You've seen it. I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it? No. Wow. Wow. I mean, I've seen King of Comedy and all the movies it's ripping off, so. It is, uh, I'll say this. Look, you can certainly look at the perspective that King of Comedy and Taxi Driver are the foundation for it. But Joaquin Phoenix's performance in itself is enough for me as a, as, a, as a viewer, even though I knew the points of reference that they were basing it on, to enjoy it thoroughly. Yeah, and I, and I, and I will see it. I'm not avoiding it on purpose. I just it was interesting because it is something that you never think about. Like, oh, what realistically would drive somebody to become the Joker? Yeah. It's not a happy tale. No. <laughs> so I, it was really well made, but it was just... I went like... Because I got the AMC Stubbs thing where I yeah. can see all those movies. But I just don't like going to the movies in the middle of the day, like on a work day. Yeah. I just, so I went at 10 a.m. so that I could still be productive afterwards. Yeah. Not the greatest 10 a.m. choice. No, uh, that's, a, that's a rough 10 a.m. choice. That's a yeah. rough way to start your morning. Yeah. Um, again, it was it was very interesting. I liked that they did the whole, you know, it's a medical condition with the laughter. And, like, they really humanized all of these I things. I did like that. That was a new device that I'd never seen used in, was... in Batman stuff. Yeah. Was, was yeah. The, the idea of making it a medical condition. Yeah. The last um, movie I saw him in was uh, You Were Never Really There, I think it's called. I um, remember that you title. you seen that? Yeah. It, it, that's really great. I mean, he's great in anything, so... I'm changing the Joaquin, football game I mean, not right the Joker. The, jo- the Joker's not great in anything. So I did a... <laughs> will you continue to talk for a second while I well, change I wanna, Well, I'll talk about I the wanna, Joker. Yeah, I want to get into that, but you two talk for a second. Okay, so yeah. well, let's yeah. say this. You have... Uh, I'm speak, trying to get the game speaking of, speaking of the Joker, you have a Michael Keaton multiverse Batman hanging up in here. Which and, one? That one? Yeah. That one or that well, one? Well... <laughs> or the or the actual eighty nine one. Well, I'm thinking of the one that says multiverse on it because right. there's also one. It's the same figure behind that light, but it has no mask on. Knowing that you have, you know, there's only so much time in the day, so I understand. But knowing that you have never taken my or your father's advice and invested any time in the Arrowverse on the CW, sure, I'm happy to be the one to tell you that in the upcoming that Michael Keaton is is playing <laughs> Batman. Well, <laughs> in the upcoming Crisis on Infinite Earths, uh, cro- multi is he playing cro- King of Come Batman? Um, because if unless he's Kingdom Come Batman in the suit from Kingdom Come, I'm not down. Brandon Routh is playing. I saw Kingdom that. Come I don't. Ca- I could give a fuck. You know, I don't care about Superman at all. Michael Keaton Batman. So far, there's at least an Easter egg that is putting that world of his Batman movies into the multiverse in the Arrowverse. Will he be in the Kingdom Come suit? Don't know yet, but I know that there's a newspaper headline that says like Wayne Tech CEO Bruce Wayne weds socialite. Uh, Selena Kyle, Kim and it's a and it's a yeah. picture of <laughs> Michael Keaton in a tuxedo. Oh, and like an old Michael Keaton or a young Michael? Uh, Keaton? Uh, somewhere in between. Older than the Batman movies, it looks well, like. Well, now I have to look this than... up, so you keep talking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so this is I the was thing to say that now. I'm I mean, intrigued. they're pulling out all the stops. They're bringing in Huntress from the old Birds of Prey TV series. I mean, they're really going to town. Let's see here with the whole multiverse concept. Apparently, Crisis on Infinite Earths will reference Michael Keaton's Batman movies. There it is. There it is, yeah. Wayne Tech CEO, Bruce Wayne. Yeah, and I don't know that that was even an officially released thing. I think it's more of a leak type thing. Look, if he's if if you have Brandon Routh, Kingdom Come Superman. Yep. And you have Michael Keaton, Kingdom Come Batman. Which would be amazing. And then, I don't know who who could be Chris O'Donnell as Red Robin. Who <laughs> who is that? Oh, Burt Ward's going to be in the Crisis. I saw him wearing a weird sweater. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what he, what like character. Robin I will only watch it yet. if Tommy Lee Jones is back as Two Face. Yes, <laughs> but they've switched the side of his face. Yes, yes, exactly. Or, or he's full face. Where it's yeah. just yeah. both sides are purple. Yeah, yeah. one face, yeah. two face. Red fish, blue fish. <laughs> uh, Billy D. Williams finally get finally <laughs> getting to be Two Face. Oh yeah, that would be great. That'd be cool. Oh, that we would could be do that. long overdue. Yeah. yeah, a very, very old Two Face. We've all seen many times where he has been to- sold the story of how he was promised the role of Two Face. Yep. Yeah, only to be double crossed by Warner Brothers. I'm actually going to go uh, with my parents uh, there to the uh, the Batman experience at Warner Brothers. Um, what is the Batman experience at Warner Brothers? It's the it's the tour, it's the yeah. Back so lot, it's right? it's the, the back lot. They have all the costumes it's and cool. the, and the cars bet. and all the shit. I've never been, but it's, awesome. it's you know. 